Despite all of our scientific achievements, we have barely begun to explore even a fraction of our universe. With such vast and infinite space, it is no wonder that we occasionally encounter strange occurrences that even the most studied astronomers cannot explain. In this episode of Seriously Strange, let us take a glimpse at some of the most mysterious anomalies found in the final frontier. In August of 1977, a volunteer researcher at Ohio State University by the name of Jerry Amon made an unusual discovery while scanning the data recently acquired by the observatory's telescope. Amon was part of a research team set to analyze signals from space in the hopes of finding evidence of communication from other life forms in the universe. While combing the printout data from the date of August 15th, Amon believed he may have found exactly what he was looking for. At the 10.16 p.m. mark, he spotted an alphanumeric sequence, 6EQUJ5. This was significant because it pinpointed a strong, unexplained transmission coming from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius. This signal was 30 times greater than the typical ambient noise found in deep space. Amon was so taken aback by this discovery that he wrote the word WOW in red ink beside the sequence, which coined the event's name, the WOW signal. The transmission has yet to be explained as no existing radio transmitters in our current technology are capable of producing such a strong signal. Most frustrating to researchers is that the signal has not been repeated. Was an alien intelligence trying to communicate with Earth, and if so, what was the message? Human beings are particularly adept at finding shapes and images in random patterns. It is easy to see what looks like a face on a piece of toast, or find animal shapes among the clouds. The scientific term for this occurrence is pareidolia. The human brain is wired in such a way that we often find what seems to be clear and distinct images where none actually exist. Much of paranormal photography has been the subject of debate in this matter. Is it the image of a ghost, or simply our brain searching for images where there are none. Yet, there are still images that are so clear that it is virtually impossible to dismiss them as pareidolia. In November of 2011, NASA launched the Mars Curiosity mission, sending a rover to the surface of Mars. This rover continues to send back photographs to Earth to be analyzed. It seems that everything from small mammals to unexplained objects have been sent back in blurry photos. But on May 7th of 2015, the rover picked up a clear image of what appears to be a pyramid structure identical to those found in Egypt. Though the pyramid in the photos is no bigger than an automobile, it is speculated that the structure could be largely buried in the sand, and what we see in the photo could be merely the capstone of a much larger structure. Many believe this photo to be evidence that civilized life once lived on Mars, and possibly still does. Near the center of the Milky Way floats a dust cloud that would befit a party you could only hold in outer space. There is no explanation for its existence, and nothing else like it has been found in our galaxy. It is a molecular cloud that stretches approximately 150 light years across and contains some unusual chemical properties. Named Sagittarius B2, or more affectionately as God's Liquor Cabinet, this dust cloud is several million times the size of our sun, has 40 times the density of similar molecular clouds, and contains billions of liters of alcohol, enough to keep every person on Earth inebriated for millennia to come. 
Even more bizarre, the dust cloud contains ethyl formate, the compound that gives raspberries their distinct flavor. Astronomers remain mystified at how Sagittarius B2 came to be formed, however most now believe that this dust cloud may contain clues as to the very formation of life, as evidence has shown that much of organic life began in a similar cocktail. It is an intriguing idea to consider that life has the potential to originate within a floating cloud of raspberry-flavored space rum and makes us question if human life began in a similar fashion. If you plan to take a spaceship to Sagittarius B2 to have a stellar party, you may reconsider. The cloud also contains propyl cyanide, a lethal poison. Astronomers use many methods to seek out new planets, but one of the most used is a strategy that measures the amount of light emitting from a particular star. When the light dips, it's an indication that something has passed in front of it. This is sometimes an undiscovered planet or an asteroid field, but in some cases, the passing body cannot be identified. Usually these minor decreases in light are consistent and predictable. Anomalies can be quickly identified as space debris. However, in the case of KIC 8462852, a star approximately 1400 light years away in the Cygnus constellation, physicist Freeman Dyson noted light decreases that were dramatic and irregular. It was first thought that these light obstructions were likely caused by comet fragments or asteroid debris, but the behavior of the moving objects did not fit well enough into that theory. The movements of the objects were far too deliberate to be random. Dyson began to theorize that if alien life existed on other planets, they could be technologically advanced enough to construct a series of highly advanced satellites. These satellites could completely obstruct the star in their orbit, blocking the star's light, like moths around a light bulb. This theory has been called the Dyson Swarm. The unusual dips in light of up to 20% lead some astronomers to the conclusion that KIC 8462852 may be home to a technologically advanced civilization. For many, the conclusion seems a stretch, but when scientists factor in the amount of technology that would be involved in creating such a system, all signs point to a sophisticated intelligence. If the Dyson Swarm is neither man-made nor explainable by typical space phenomena, it begs the question, where did it come from? Who is behind it? And what are they planning? So many of the mysteries of space are fascinating, such as the possibility of life on other planets or evidence that suggests we may be visited by these alien civilizations. Some unexplained occurrences are simply interesting food for thought or make for fun trivia facts. Yet some unexplained mysteries of the cosmos are far more terrifying. What if an unknown peril exists just beyond our known world of which we have little to no understanding? What if the destruction of our very galaxy is just around one cosmic corner and no amount of scientific technology or exploration will save us? The known universe works in a predictable system of patterns and fluctuations that are measurable and consistent, much like the workings of a clock. However, a research team at the Goddard Space Flight Center discovered a force just beyond the edge of our universe that defies the usual system of order. In the last two decades, the research team led by Sasha Kushlinsky discovered clusters of galaxies being pulled to a specific point just beyond our known universe. This motion does not coincide with the usual expansion of galaxies and has no known source. The constant movement toward this fixed point is measured by temperature fluctuations and shows that these galaxies are being drawn by a force more powerful than even that of a black hole. Scientists refer to this occurrence as dark flow. Cosmologists speculate this phenomena to be a remnant held over the Big Bang, or possibly another universe colliding with our own. The subject of dark flow has been a controversial one. 
Koshlinsky's research team has received criticism as being the only group to have observed the phenomena, and since this pulling force is outside of our known universe, it can't be seen or measured in more detail. However, in recent years, other researchers such as Hume Feldman from the University of Kansas and Michael Hudson of Canada's University of Waterloo have begun to find data that supports Koshlinsky's findings. Even more disturbing is that recent data shows that these galaxy clusters are being pulled at an even faster rate than first thought, a speed of nearly one million miles per hour. It is unknown what happens or will happen to these galaxies once they are pulled beyond our universe. The implications of this discovery are ominous. Where does the dark flow lead, and how long before the Milky Way is swallowed by its current? That's all for now. Be sure to check out another one of my videos, and of course, subscribe to my channel now because you won't want to miss what's next. And I'll see you next time.